Okay, we are back. Uh, welcome to Clubhouse Conversations. If you don't know me, my name is Brian Penny. I own Clubhouse Convos on Substack, Reddit, and other sites. Uh, I am also the only human being on the entire planet who attended all of the Creator First pilot season finalists. Uh, sorry, pilot. The, I can't even talk. Creator First uh, pilot finalists. Finalist pilots. There we go. Now I got it. <laughs> and so I also, I, I critiqued them in real time during everything and wrote a blog up and we sent this out to the creators and to the clubhouse staff. So everybody's on board with it. And now I am doing the uh, video commentary on these approved written reviews that we did and going through to see who deserved it, who didn't, and all these other kind of things, who should have been in there and who should not have. And today is one of my favorites of all of these, which was Rick Smolin's Against All Odds. And this one is, I, I love it so much, because he, uh, Smolin is a, oh, sorry, I just realized I spelled his name wrong with on this video, so I'm fixing it real quick on the description live. I put E N instead of A N. So he is a photojournalist. Well, he's actually a uh, he's the CEO of a photojournalist uh, production agency, and they do a lot of work all around the world. They've got uh, photojournalists. They they make sure they say photojournalists and not not photographers and things like that because they're actually telling a story within their photos. So the one that we have up it was one of the ten that he had up for the the. Uh, from on his Instagram account during this whole conversation during the pilot, and uh, it's one of his people took this picture in Afghanistan. It's basically uh, bringing the, bringing to light the child marriage that goes on there. That old ass man, the, that little girl there is uh, fourteen, I believe she is, and she's meeting her husband to be for the first time in her life, and that's the picture that you're looking at. And the photographer, uh, she's an activist who goes through and ex explains the entire story behind this. Uh, she's one of uh, one of Rick's people. Uh, he brings a lot of different um, photographers across the, this entire hour, and they're all speaking on the, the different things that they've taken photos of, and the subjects they've taken photos of. And Shadia here is the one who's uh, putting it in her her PTR, so everyone can see the photos that they're talking about while they're talking about it, and they give you the story of what's going on of all the all the. Just, just the, the story behind the picture that already is an insane, insanely good picture, and these people have been featured all over in in, in uh, National Geographic and uh, Time Magazine back, uh, Life Magazine even back in the day. Uh, one of these gentlemen, uh, David here, has been in the photography business, the photojournalism business, for I believe it was fifty years or something along those lines, where he uh, forty or fifty years, and he's just got so much experience over so many decades that all of these people had such amazing stories like this this is actual journalism and not only that like I mean this is the only actual journalism I've really seen on Clubhouse to be perfectly real about that I mean there's so much fake news on there with with all these marketers just pretending that they're they're from NPR and all these other places and they're not that's not real like that doing an editorial is not being a journalist uh being interviewed on news as not being a journalist. There's just so many uh, fake people on Clubhouse, uh, journalists especially. Uh, maybe I just see it more because I, I understand it, but like so many marketers are faking journalism. And then you've got this group here, this production team that's in Against All Odds by Rick Smolin, and they're legit. They have so many pictures of so many things. They had boots on the ground during all these all the strife of the the last hundred years essentially and they have all this information and they have all the photos and all the people and everything they could go on forever that was the hardest part about listening to this was that they had so much to talk about that like i could have spent an hour listening to each individual person talk about their one photo and just been good but they had to fit like three four people five i think all together into this hour thing and so it went by so fast but like this is a reason i would actually go on to clubhouse to be real like i mean i i'm out of clubhouse i i personally do not but i would for this to see to hear rick smolin talk about his 
experiences and his people. I mean, he's not going to be the only one that's going to do this. I mean, all of these people are involved. He's, this is his business. This is better than that food porn trading desk was such food beast is such a lazy job of, of porting their brand over. That was the absolute bottom of the barrel brand on clubhouse is food beast. But this right here is the a plus like th This is how you port your brand. Like he brought over all these people, Camila Forte, David Burnett, uh, Raquel, Natalie, Gio, Stephanie Sinclair, uh, Shadia, Shadia Jarecki. I can't, I'm going to say all these names wrong, but she's the one who was showing all the photos while he on screen on Clubhouse while Rick was showing them his Instagram. This was so immersive. They had such great stories. Everybody in here clearly cared about what they were doing, knew what they were talking about. Go to Against All Odds Productions. Like, give these people all of your money. They are amazing. Listen to one of their talks. You will hear some amazing things. This is like the best real meaty news and, and investigative journalism, not just like I pop up on TV to get interviewed journalism like everyone else who fakes it on every other news thing that I've seen at all on Clubhouse. Like this is the only single only source of news on Clubhouse. Everything else is run by fake marketers who are just faking it, faking it. They are not journalists. Do not trust them. They are fake but these people are real. These are real journalists. Talk to them, follow them, go to their every room and ignore all the rest of the nonsense. This is against all odds. This is one of the great choices that Clubhouse actually managed to make for their creator first pilot season. It's a shame they're only getting $5,000 for the entire company though, because meanwhile, there's like four comedians running around that were all just doing nothing except clinging on to, to one man's idea for an improv thing. And this is how they decided to split things up. But these real actual photo journalists are going to get 5,000 a month combined between all 20 of them in that company. It is what it is. But anyways, go to against all odds, check out their amazing photos, go look at Rick Swollen's Instagram. And if you're on clubhouse, these are the people to follow. Ignore all the rest of,